Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go through stage 24 and 25 of the Spider's Den with free to play accessible champions and we're going to use Akoth the Seer to do that at level 50 with no books. So he's only got a 10% chance to fear whenever anybody has an HP burn and takes a turn. It's really hard to see this one and his AI isn't the best. So for his AI he's going to do this ability first. So we can't push back skills, but we're only doing the Spider's Den right now. We're not doing the Doom Tower, which this guy is going to be phenomenal in. And we've got this right here, right? We've got our burn. We don't need books here. We don't need books in him. The only thing we do need books in him later on, if we want, is this ability and this ability. That's it. Let's get into these runs so you can see exactly what I'm talking about with these champions and how easy it is to do a free-to-play or... It takes a while. It takes a long while to accumulate these champions. We're going to do stage 24 and 25, but we've got Seal the Drakes, Vizix in here, Armager, and an Apothecary. So the only one that you legitimately cannot get is an Apothecary. You have to roll for that champion, but I'm assuming by now that you might have some other champions to supplement in here. I know Vizix takes a really long time to get as well, 280 days or something. Almost a full year, it seems like it. 280 days is a long time. It's a very long time to get Vizix, but now that she's so good with that turn meter reduction, the ally protect, the provokes to keep everybody safe, it's a really, really good stable team to do 24 and 25 with. And look at this. Armager is going to do 25 as well. He's going to come in there and knock down that turn meter. We've got three different people. We've got Vizix knocking turn meter down. Seal the Drake's knocking turn meter down on her A1 from time to time. AoE slow speed is the key. We've got Vizix coming in here doing that AoE slow speed. It's really helping us out. If you wanted to bring in your miscreated monster, if you're lucky enough to get a miscreated monster, bring him in. You know it's easy. You can almost like two man, three man with miscreated monster, but now you've got your AoE burn champion. Plus he's looping back around on a four turn cooldown because we don't have him booked at all to give us 20% of his max HP and shields. That's what he does on his A3. Plus if there's HP burns up, he has a chance to push back their skills by two turns, which is you, as you know, if we play this guy in the Doom Tower, it's going to be insane. I'm not high enough in the Doom Tower right now to show you, but I've been waiting for this guy for at least a year since we saw him for Battle Pass 2, which never came out. So I've known about this champion. We've had this information data mined about him. I've been waiting for this epic. This epic gets me excited, really excited to go through the Doom Tower with even a team like this. Wrap them up with all these stuns, get those burns up on everyone, burn them all down, and push their skills back even further, and give your whole team a shield, an HP shield. And his A1 does the crit. You see the crit reduction on the boss? 30% less chance to crit. That's not bad. That's a little bit of damage mitigation. We'll take it. But look at this run. Everybody's still alive. I think during all my runs, we lose somebody when the boss takes that big hit, when the boss does the attack. And then if Vizix has Ally Protect up, she's going to absorb 50% of all that damage and she's going to die. But we've got Seal the Drakes over here. She's going to bring her right back to life. No problem. Two minutes and 42 seconds. Let's run it again so you know this was not a fluke. And then right after this run, we're going to get into stage 25 of the Spider's Den and show you it with the same exact team. I think it's pretty good. We don't have to worry about Cold Hearts if you don't have a Cold Heart. If you do, bring them in. Bring whatever you got in there. Just know that this AoE burn champion is going to be amazing. He's definitely going to help you out with Doom Tower progression, and he is free to play. You can get him over time. Of course, you have to get the first fragments, right? You have to go through the secret rooms, Doom Tower normal, and get all those first fragments for the Archmage. Once you have the Archmage done, anytime you beat a secret room after that, you'll get fragments for this guy. And then... Once you have him, I seriously, I'm going to show you. Once I get into the Doom Tower, much higher stages, I'm going to show you how amazing this champion is going to be. To do those AoE burns, which you've already seen in all my videos, we burn everybody down and we use a whole bunch of control, just like we're doing right now. This is no different than a Doom Tower wave to me. This is how we go through here and control it all and burn it all down. But now we're going to push their skills back. We're going to fear them more often. Once I book this guy out and give him, oh yeah, I forgot to say too, that this guy right now is rocking no accuracy. He's got like 170 accuracy, which is very low for stage 24, 25, stage 20. It's the same resistance that they have on stage 20, but it's still low. He needs to be somewhere around 200, 220 to do well, but he's got like 170, but he's still, I mean, he's getting all the burns up. He's still doing okay. He's not bad. He is in a stun set. He does two AOEs, so he's in a stun set, just like it'd be great to have Vizix in a stun set, which I don't right now. I've got her in a frost set, playing around with frost and frost bite. But really, Vizic should be in a stun set too. She does two AoEs as well. Both of those on a three-turn cooldown. Akoth does an AoE on a three-turn cooldown. And then another one on a four-turn cooldown once we get him booked out. 
So why not a stun set if you have it, especially for the Doom Tower and for here, right, to help you out? Stun all you want. Stun those spiders up. You're good to go. Now, we haven't really been paying attention to the fear mechanic. So he has this fear mechanic on his passive. Right now, we've only got a 10% chance to apply it. Later on, we're going to get a 25, I believe, with the books. And then I'm going to go for Fearsome Presence to get an additional 5% chance because I'm also going to have him in a stun set, which he is in a stun set right now. But he's level 50, so we can't get Fearsome Presence. We're going to get a 5% chance additional to stun with a stun set. Then we're going to get a 5% chance additional to fear whenever anybody takes a turn that has a burn on. It doesn't fear everybody out there. It's just that one champion that's taking a turn. The one enemy that's taking a turn and coming at you right then immediately has a chance to be feared. And you can see the little Grim Reaper death thing go over their head. Let's try to pay attention for it. It's really hard to see because it's just at that moment that they attack with an HP burn on, they get a chance to be feared. So we won't see it because it's just like right when they get ready to attack, you'll see we got to wait for a burn. You see the AI, right? The AI is so weird with him. I don't know who programs this stuff over there. I don't know who plays this game over at Raid Shadow Legends, but you don't do that A3 first. You do the A2 with the burns first. Okay, <laughs> and then, then you go over to the A3. But he's so strong, he's so good, it won't matter. It really even won't matter as much in the Doom Tower. But I've already requested that they look into it. Like, I can't believe that he was... A lot of champions get released like this. Like, they don't play the game and know what's going on. And then we have to beg them to fix them. And it takes a really long time. A really long time. And sometimes it really hurts the champion. It makes it so we can't even play them. Luckily, this guy's okay. So right there, we always get hit with that AoE. And sometimes we have the ally protect up with Vizix. So she dies, but immediately, there you go. Back up. Always back up. With the ally protect on from Seal, and she's fine. Life is back. We've got healers, healers. We do the AoE stuns again. We do the slow speed, which is, God, the slow speed is so good on all this. Because their speeds are faster, right? Their speeds are much faster. That AoE slow speed on a three-turn cooldown, along with her turn meter reduction, Vizix is good now. Really good now. So we come through here with this team. If you don't have this team, if you don't have these people unlocked yet, you might have somebody that can work in place of them. Obviously, a miscreate, a monster, a Sir Nick, anybody out there that can do massive shields will make it very easy to do the Spider's Den. But this is truly, basically, a free-to-play way to do it if you've been playing a really long time. But if you haven't, I apologize. I'm just trying to give everybody options out there. And I wanted to showcase this new champion that just came out, or I just got actually from the fragments this morning, just hours ago. And I'm really loving him. I've been waiting for this guy for so long, and I can't wait to get into Doom Tower. Unfortunately, on the test server, I don't have him yet, but I cannot wait to get into Doom Tower 118, 119 hard, more to Macabre stages, anything. I don't care what it is out there. I want to face everything with this guy going through the Doom Tower. I want to see us push skills back. I want to get the shields up, burn everyone, and stun them all. And then when we go into the masteries, let me show you his master set. We have him in a stun set, and I've got him full of HP. Lots of HP so that we can get bigger HP shields. Those weren't really saving us there, but they are going to save us in the Doom Tower. I'm not worried about the damage done off of this. Now, right now, he has books. I put books into him after I filmed this to see if I could tell what's going on with his fear, and I'm going to take him to 60. So I want him fully booked out. I want him fully 60. But just keep in mind, when I did those runs, I promise you I had no books in him whatsoever. After I did that run and recorded it, I have done some runs, and I've been looking for this fear, and I've seen it. But this is the reason why I'm going to do the masteries, right? I'm going to come down here to fear some presence, because we're going to get an additional chance to stun from the stun set, and then we're going to get an additional chance to fear from that passive. And then I went over here to sniper to get an additional chance to apply burn. Because sometimes there's not five champions out there. Sometimes there's four then. And then he's only got an 80% chance to apply HP burn to everybody. This ups that to an 85% chance and so on. And then we've got Master Hexer to try to extend those. Plus he does that debuff on the A1. So we get a chance to try to apply that again and a chance to extend that. Then we take less damage. We get more turn meter, all the rest. But I think that's the best way to gear this guy out. Get those AoE stuns out there. Give him as much HP as possible. That way, when we come around to this ability, 20% of this champion's max HP to everyone out there, which isn't going to be a lot. I mean, he doesn't have really high. I think his max HP is 17,000, somewhere around there. So it's not crazy high, but I want to take advantage of that because I'm not worried about doing damage based off of defense. I cannot wait to play this guy in the Doom Tower. I've got HP again, HP with the attack and accuracy, HP over here as much as possible, HP all along the way. And then I've got him in a two-piece immortal set. I don't know why. We could go with a two-piece accuracy, two-piece speed, whatever else we want on him. But the stun set, I think, is going to be the best for him. Let me know what you think about it down below. The other champions I was using was Vizix over here. 
and she's just geared with honestly she, she should be in a stun set just like everybody else she should be in a stun set but she's provoking so often this is pretty fun we've got her in a stun set as well like i always have going through the doom tower 214 speed nothing too crazy there hp hp because we're getting heals all based off of hp i know these are defense based champions that do damage based off of defense they've got really good defense really good hp so that means i don't have to go crazy with their defense they've got good defense and i'm not killing anybody with their aoe's that they do i'm just trying to do control so i put her in a stun set and i give her hp hp just like i've always always seen me do going through the doom tower guys same thing with physics now if i want to make somebody a specific target say in the spider there you wanted to make somebody a specific target so they'd always attack them yeah you can give them really high defense really low hp and try to get all the spiderlings to always come after them this one is our attack support one i had to add the hp so we would survive and so they wouldn't necessarily always come over and try to attack this guy and if they did physics would have enough time to come back around and provoke everyone or Seal would always do the AoE stun and stun everybody up. It really didn't matter. With that AoE slow speed out there, we were okay. Now, you don't have to copy these speeds. I'm at 206. You need 100% chance to crit, and that's it. Then we do turn meter reduction on the A1, and you're set. I know Mordecai does turn meter reduction and increase as well. We've showcased him, but this guy's going to be too much fun. Pushing their skills back, getting those shields up, getting those fears, getting those burns. I think this dude is going to be needed to get through the Doom Tower hard, if you are free to play, low spender, and you don't have a lot of options, you want to go for this guy. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you all in a video soon.